Hello everyone, welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, in this episode of Bitside Practice, we're going to be looking at some questions of chemistry asked in previous years of Bitside. Today, we're going to be looking at a specific chapter in chemistry. This one's called P-Block Elements, and this, uh, this talks about elements from the periodic table, which are classified in the P-Block. So, basically refers to groups 13 to 18. And we're going to be looking at some of these questions in detail and find out how to solve them completely. Here's, for, here's our first question. This one's asked in BITSAT 2018. A, an element X occurs in a short period having a configuration NS2NP1. The formula and nature of its oxide is XO3 basic, XO3 acidic, X2O3 amphoteric, X2O3 basic. So how do we solve this question? Well, we need to find out the period, and it's a good idea to start off from the very first element of the periodic table and moving on until we get something similar to NS2NP1. So, hydrogen has just one electron in the s orbital, so 1s1. Helium has two electrons, so that becomes 1s2. Lithium has three electrons, but we can only accommodate a maximum of two electrons in the s orbital, so we take it as 1s2, and then we begin another set, 2s1. Beryllium has four, so that will become 1s2, 2s2, and boron has five electrons, and right now in the second shell we will have both s and p orbitals, so you have 1s2, 2s2, and 2p1. So as you can see, boron's outer shell contains the configuration ns2 and p1, where n equals 2. So basically, we can conclude that the group containing boron, that is group 13, will have a combination the electronic configuration NS2NP1 in its outermost shell. So here we're looking at an element which occurs in a short period, and that period will be period 3. So in the periodic table, the third period contains aluminum in group 13. And aluminum's oxide is Al2O3, and this oxide is known to be amphoteric. That means it reacts with both acids as well as bases. So therefore, the correct option among the four will be option C, X2O3 amphoteric. X stands for the element, which in this case can be substituted with aluminum. So Al2O3 is the same thing as X2O3. And since Al2O3 is amphoteric, we can say that the formula and nature of the oxide here is also amphoteric. So option C is the correct option for this question asked in 2018. Next question. Ordinary glass has the formula. Sodium silicate, calcium silicate, sodium and calcium silicate, mixed salt of sodium and calcium. Now this is a question of 2015. And... How do we solve it? So we're dealing with ordinary glass here, and ordinary glass is usually represented as calcium alkali silicate. Now the reason why we wrote alkali instead of any particular element of the alkali group is because you can use more than one combination to make glass. So, calcium alkali silicate is the general formula for ordinary glass. And how do you form it? Well, it's created from the reaction alkali metal carbonate plus calcium carbonate, CaCO3, plus SiO2. 
So from here, you will get both CaSiO2 and the alkali, SI, alkali with SiO2. So let's take that as X, XSiO2. So that's why we call it calcium alkali silicate. So alkali refers to group one, and since sodium does go, it, sodium is a part of group one, the alkali metals group. So therefore, the correct answer for this question must be option C, sodium and calcium silicate. So the reason why option C is correct is because both of these, you know, compounds form in the formation of glass. And so therefore, if you were to write A alone, that means only sodium silicate will be present, which is incorrect. Option B would also be incorrect because it will be only calcium silicate. And option D, mixed salt of sodium and calcium, will be incorrect because calcium silicate as by itself is not a mixed salt and sodium silicate is also not a mixed salt. So we can't write a mixed salt of Na and Ca. Mixed salt and compound salts refer to complex compounds. So that's why option C, sodium and calcium silicate is the right answer. Now, let's move on to the final question of this episode. This one's also asked from 2015. Which of the following is the most basic oxide? We have Sb2O3, Bi2O3, SeO2, and Al2O3. So all of these are oxides, and all of these are oxides of the P block. So we have antimony, bismuth, selenium, and aluminum. So how do we find out which of these is the most basic oxide? Well, the thing is, in an oxide, you will have bonds between the central metal atom and the oxygen atom. And this oxide becomes easier to break, it releases its electrons easier when we can break the bonds easier. So that means when the radius is larger. And when that happens, the oxide becomes more basic. So in short, the basicity of the oxide depends on the size of the central atom, the central metal atom. So that means if you have a larger radius for the atom, if you have a larger central metal atom, then the bond becomes longer. And when bond length becomes longer, bond energy becomes less. So that makes the bond easier to break, which makes the oxide as itself more basic. So the basicity of the oxide is dependent on the size of the central metal atom. So if you look at the elements here, we have antimony, we have bismuth, we have selenium, we have aluminum. So among the four elements, bismuth is lowest in the periodic table. If you consult your periodic table, you can see that bismuth occurs lower in group 15. Antimony is just above bismuth, so that means it's smaller in size. And if you were to look at selenium, selenium is above antimony in the period above antimony, even though it's in group 16, so that makes it way smaller than bismuth. And aluminum is in group 13, which makes it even smaller, which it's all, we can also see that aluminum is in the third period, so that makes it even smaller. So as you can see, aluminum is extremely small and bismuth is extremely large because of their size. So their size, if you can see the placement, their placement in the periodic table, we can understand that bismuth is the largest of the four atoms. So bismuth is the lowest metal present in the table, so that means it has the largest size. And since bismuth has the largest size, the bonds between bismuth and oxygen are easiest to break. So that makes Bi2O3, option B, the most basic oxide.
Now option A is incorrect because antimony is just above bismuth so that makes it you know smaller because as we go down the group we can find out that the um, the size increases now selenium and aluminum aren't in the same group but we can see that selenium is in the previous period so that makes it even more smaller even though it's in the next group so that makes option C incorrect and option D has to be incorrect because Al203 is amphoteric which means that it works both ways it works with acids as well as bases so this is an amphoteric oxide and not a basic oxide so among the four options option B Bi203 bismuth oxide is the correct answer for this question asked in Bitsat 2015 so that concludes this episode of Bitsat practice we hope you found this video interesting to learn more about what questions are being asked in Bitsat then don't forget to subscribe to our channel which is Brain Blitz Audios we have a lot of educational content here you can also share your views about our content in the comment section down below and in order to get the latest updates about Bitsat or any other video that comes up in our channel you can hit the notifications button the bell icon that's present below the video so until the next episode take care stay safe bye bye for now